We are just weeks away from a Bridgerton binge session. Season three is about to drop. It just never occurred to me that you of all people could be so cruel. Steamy romance, period costumes, and the breakout Penelope, aka Nicola Coughlin, who's spilling some tea on the new season. I've been lucky enough to see a couple episodes now, and I'm so happy. Like, it's super romantic this season. It's really beautifully written. It's so much happens in each episode. Like, you won't have room to breathe. And yeah, I, I'm super proud of it. Can you tell us anything about Lady Whistledown's feature? Oh gosh, I mean, she's she's back to it in Ep 1, you know, she was gonna give up last season, she's absolutely not mm -hmm. giving up, she's, yeah, she's getting herself in trouble like she always does. We've been seeing these steamy mirror teasers. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. those as well? Yes. Is, is there any indication of where we're headed? Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, she's in big mood. You're a nightmare. I love you. Out now on Tubi, Nicola and Lydia West play two millennial BFFs navigating their 30s. <laughs> How would you describe their dynamic? They just have that spark that is like mm -hmm. finishing each other's sentences. Like, you know when you're with your best, best friend and you just like, you get each other and you love each other and you can be so honest with each other. They're just so themselves and they really understand each other. Some women spend their 20s starting a family. Some women spend them on ketamine. Both are valid choices. But with the rest of their lives looming, careers hanging in the balance, and Nicola's character Maddie's bipolar disorder making an unwelcome return. You've been diagnosed with bipolar 2 for six years. I am the most depressed I've been in years. How did you approach playing someone who has mental illness? It was a very daunting undertaking. I've never played a character this complex and I did you know research on bipolar disorder but I did you know had to keep in my head at the end of the day like you're playing this woman she's a fully rounded human being bipolar disorder is a facet of who she is but it's not all of who she is did you invite my ex-boyfriend to my non-consensual birthday party for a business meeting they begin to question whether this friendship is really in their best interests did you open the door to the rat hotel even this rat deserves love. I describe Big Mood as being a love story between them, them both. Um, and that love story can be beautiful and can be fun. And it can also be a little bit toxic and codependent. And that's what we have. It's like a very like multidimensional relationship between them both. And I think that what the show does is by the end, we're just wondering, will they, won't they? Will they get back together or will they go their separate ways? And that's not a, a spoiler, it probably is, but. <laughs> <laughs> when did you guys meet? We met at the BAFTAs a couple of years ago when Lydia was nominated. Mm -hmm. And she's just very instantly lovable. Like it's impossible not to have like a nice time around her because she's so sweet and genuine. And then like then on set, it was like just a dream to work with, so easy no ego like also like we share the same amount of laziness which is very comforting because we'd be like oh, i'm so tired i want to go home now i'm done <laughs> yeah because we shot the show in seven weeks so it was a crazy schedule very punishing and we'd be like tired girlies together <laughs> yeah we were like mm -hmm. oh, we had no more notes so we, our director would come up to us and be like why don't we try it in this and we'd be like no notes <laughs> and she'd be like oh okay but we were obviously joking but um yeah I think that kind of it what it shows is like our attitude towards like work like we're both we're very easy going like mm -hmm. and we just wanted to have fun and make the show as like just the, the chemistry that you see on screen, like, I think there's nothing worse than like manufactured chemistry yeah. that is like isn't real, and you can tell. I think audiences read that. I think audiences are so much smarter than people give them credit for. Exactly, they pick up on stuff and they see stuff. So it's just like it's such a blessing when you have a natural, easy friendship. Exactly, and you don't have to yeah try and work just around try it, and yeah. fake it. Yeah, cancel each other out. Yeah.